guys, this is John Carlton. He's got a Tango Gyro as well, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about this Tango here at the Sun and Fun. Welcome to Sun and Fun. This is the Tango 2 Gyro. It's a two-place uh, gyro plane, and it's uh, a little different than some of the other two-place open machines that are popular these days. I'll show you some of the differences. This is uh, the uh, normally aspirated model. One of the biggest differences in the Tango is that it has the Yamaha engine instead of the uh, Rotax or some of the others. The Yamaha engine, this is a three-cylinder, comes out of a snowmobile and it generates 120 horsepower in the normally aspirated model. The um, result of that with uh, the uh, Tango redrive, which is a three to one redrive, is that you can blow with a three blade Luga prop about 550 pounds of thrust. You can also, with their pre-rotator system, pre-rotate to 225 rotor RPM. Uh, they've got one of the safest pre-rotators around because they don't use a Bendix, they use a manual engage uh, gear mechanism, which is, a, again, just one of the little differences between the um, Tango and some of the other models out there. One of the great things about this Yamaha is you can take it to a Yamaha dealer and, and have a rebuild or some service work done. They can run anywhere from um, 80, uh, correction, uh, 83 octane, 87 octane ethanol gas to 100 low lead uh, ab gas, and they'll run happily on all of them. If you're running ab gas, because of the lead, you do have to increase the number of times you change the oil and plugs. Let's see, this, this newest model has a 15 gallon fuel system. It burns about three and a half gallons an hour at cruise with that engine. And one of the other really th great things about this machine is the Russian rotor blades. The rotor blades are an aluminum extrusion, and unlike some of the others, they have a whole lot more stringers in the blade. I have a sample of a cutaway from the rotor blade that I'll show you in just a moment. This is a cutaway of the Russian rotor blade's interior. It's an extrusion with multiple stringers, not just the single center stringer, and it's a little heavier blade than some of them, so it has a lot of inertia. It uses an airfoil that's similar to some others, but it's a longer cord. So this is a really high lift blade, and it's a good blade for gyroplanes. It's one of the best I've ever flown. One of the other new features in this latest model is a, a parking brake for the um, uh, for the handbrake which is kind of nice. It's good to set the parking brake when you're pre-rotating. Um, they use, the stock instrumentation is vertical speed, altimeter, and airspeed, along with an instru instrument console, which is the Yamaha engine console out of the snowmobile, which includes all of the engine monitoring, RPM, and something they do that's clever is they, uh, hook the uh, speed sensor or the speedometer to the rotor RPM. So the speedometer is actually showing the rotor RPM here instead of ground speed uh, as it would on a snowmobile. Let's see. Now the... the still have a... This is the manual engagement for the... This is the manual engagement for the pre-rotator here. This engages the gear. When this is out of circuit, yeah, even if the me so mechanism to begins to spin for some reason, it cannot engage the rotor gear. And Bendix engagement of rotor gears has been accidents in the past in gyro planes. To engage the mechanism on ours, it's a second step, the foot pedal. Foot pedal here, which actually engages the mechanism after the rotor gear is engaged. The trim is electric and is a push up, push down, just like in a standard airplane. The rotor brake is electric and is a push on, push off, uh, push pull. On the rotor, the rotor brake also 
locks the stick forward so you don't have to hold them while you're taxiing. This is a new exhaust system for the Tango. It's a lot quieter and is tuned to give a little better performance. This uh, is also standard equipment with all the new Tango generators. All right, well, John, thanks for showing the gyro to us. Where do we go for, um, for more info on the Tango? Tango has a website at Tango Gyro, T-A-N-G-O-G-Y-R-O.com. And there's more information on specifications and offers and pricing there.